And the last trimming method, you might have guessed, it's actually selection tool trim. So basically, when you have a selection tool, if you want to trim, for example, the end of the clip, you can see that this uh, bracket appears here in its red in color, unlike the ripple edit tool, it's yellow. This one is red, and when you pull it with this tool, it trims the clip, or you can extend it the same way. But if you do it in the middle of the timeline, or between the clips, or between the through edits, then it's gonna leave the gap where the clip has moved. It's not the best way to do it, but sometimes it's handy, and I'm gonna show you when it could be handy. So let's go ahead and delete this. For example, if you put just the video over top here, let's say we go like this, and then you have this cat over here, and then you have the bee starts to fly. Well, for example, I wanna extend this cat laying down all the way to the, till the bee starts to fly. In this case, I can use this selection edit trim and just extend it over here. It does work great when you need to edit, for example, an overlay clip, or if you need to edit the last clip on the timeline, so it basically you don't, need to get, you don't need to use the ripple edit tool for this case. Or for example, if you need to edit just video or audio, let's say you just choose the audio clip, then you can just trim the audio, and then you can also use the selection edit tool. So this is basically the cases where you wanna use it, but of course you can use it on any occasion, but you would have to ripple delete all the gaps that it creates. So this is it guys, I hope you like it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Also let me know in the comment section below what other videos you want me to make. I hope you have a nice day, I'll see you soon, bye bye.